During an interview on Fox Business on Thursday, House Oversight Chairman James Comer solemnly explained why he and his colleagues believe President Biden should be investigated for possible impeachment. Arrow right, we know they are taking tens of millions of dollars from bad people in bad countries. We fear that Joe Biden will be put in danger. As we explained, that they, here is important. This money from bad people in bad countries went not to Joe Biden, but to his son Hunter, and did not go while Joe Biden was serving as president. He argues that Joe Biden may have received some payments before he was elected in 2020 and that this may have compromised his presidency in some way. Given the weak basis for impeachment by Republicans, the last thing they need at this particular moment is a more solid example of a Republican former official who is not currently in public service and clearly took too much money from bad foreign actors. Such an incident would make it even clearer how weak the accusations against Biden are. The former president posted a triumphant announcement on social media Friday morning. Trump National Doral in Miami, he shouted. Newly signed an agreement with Live Golf to host a championship tournament in April 2024. Their event in Doral in October was a huge success. Trump National Doral is a golf club owned by Donald Trump's business. The Trump Organization. So a deal involving Doral is a deal that would benefit Trump. And Live Golf is a rival to the PGA Tour. Which, as you know, is primarily funded by Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. So who is the chairman of PIF's board of directors? Prince Mohammed bin Salman, better known as MBS and the man who U.S. intelligence officials believe ordered the killing of a Washington Post columnist in 2018. The term bad is certainly subjective. But you can judge for yourself whether this applies to James Comer angrily denouncing taking money from bad people from foreign countries. As Trump noted, this isn't the first time Live Golf and his organization have done business together. Back in May, we explored symbiosis between golf and Trump. Live Golf was paying unreported amounts of money to the Trump organization. And Trump was hyping to American public. This, of course, is just a slice of the foreign money the Trump organization has received. The company has properties in many foreign countries. And not all of them are particularly friendly to the United States. And if we extend blame immediate family members, the way Comer and his allies had to attack Joe Biden, we can talk about $2 billion Piff gave Trump's son-in-law Jared Kushner's investment firm immediately. After Trump's death, there is no way Trump deals can be explained as any less criminal than Biden's. In the case of Live Golf, the money goes directly to Trump's business. Yes, it's not money that came in form of a check directly from the Saudi government. Probably. But it's not money paid to Hunter Biden either he.